Hey guys, so we're back with another video. In this video, I'm just going to show you guys a few styles, um, a few hair rub styles that I use like on an everyday basis. This isn't going to be like, you know, really extravagant hair rub styles. I do those, but I think I'll do those in another video. Um, <clears throat> so to start with, um, this is the edge control that I use. It's called Style Factor Edge Booster. Um, they have different smells and I don't think the smell dictates the formula because I've had the strawberry one i had a trial size strawberry one and i really liked it so i bought the bigger size cherry one it is kind of pricey but i think it's worth the buy um i had this for a while now as you can see i still have a lot left um and of course my edge brush you may see me applying some of my um some of my um edge control you know just to spruce up the style may or may not um, I did my edges a little bit already. I always start off by doing my edges just a little bit. Um, next, you're going to need, I use a, a wig cap um, to go over my hair. So I'm just going to put that on. And this is usually the basis of all of my wraps. Like this is my base right here. And I... I already sprayed my hair today, so I'm not going to spray it again for the video. But, of course, I sprayed my hair with my water and oil mix. All right. So, I usually, you know, you could decide where you want yours to sit. I let mine sit, like, right outside of my edges because I like for my edges to be out. Okay. So, my mirror is right here. So, if I'm looking right here, it's just to make sure that everything is looking good um so we're gonna start off i use a silk scarf so this is not even getting to the wrap yet i use a silk scarf to kind of dictate my styles because as you can see my hair is short and so i don't have anything to really hold my wraps so i just take my silk scarf and you can use one or two or however many of you may need. This one is pretty big, so I just stick with using this one. Sometimes if I want a really big one, I use another smaller silk scarf, silk satin, whatever this is. I'm not sure. But I just simply input it into the bottom part, just like it would be like a low ponytail because this is going to be where I want my wrap to sit. So once you get that... I'm gonna grab whatever scarf you're gonna use now this particular scarf i got it off amazon and it came in a pack of three and it's just a regular like scarf it's just a regular scarf so what i do is i fold it in half and i leave a little bit out on all of my scarves um but basically it's folded in half the long way so after you do that you then want to take the scarf and put it on your head and you can put it a little bit past your edges, like a little bit past where you want your edges to kind of sit. So I usually do mine like right about here. So you're going to hold it. Now turn to the back so you can see. You're going to take it and make, you know, a little loop. Or if you would, if you're tying your shoe or something. All right, so you make your loop and then you pull tightly, not too tight because you don't want it to pull, give you a headache. So once it's right here, I usually try to find the inner part of the scarf. So this part and make sure like it's tucked in because I don't like for the little scragglies on the scarf to show. So you just want to wrap it around like so take it and wrap it up under that scarf wrap it around again and then you just want to tuck tuck the remainder of that scarf so you take your second piece and you do the same in the opposite direction so i'm just going to take it and wrap it around and you tuck once you find a good spot to tuck so then you just tuck those pieces too so then you have like your little ponytails 
and then your scarf around it and you have like this low bun kind of look like this is my favorite go-to um and so because it kind of pulls back that's why i put it a little bit further up on my edges so that you can't really um so when because i know it's going to slide back a little bit but it doesn't slide back all the way it stays in place all day and that wig cap underneath is going to keep it in place all day a little flower hair right there that's fine though so this is style number one this is really my go-to style like i do this all the time like all the time um so i turn it back so you can see it again side and that's it that's it for this style so i'm just gonna take it down so you can get ready for style number two all right so style number one is done so for style number two we're gonna readjust because this is a new day right <laughs> So we're gonna readjust our scarf for this style as well. All right. So you just like right there again, like a little bit past my edges, not too tight. So we're gonna take our sat silk scarf, whatever, and place it on the top, on the crown of our head. So I'm just gonna slide it in there. And then you just kinda wanna situate this again. So, we're gonna take our other scarf. This scarf I got off of Amazon. Um, and I call, I think it's called the Urban Turbanista. The Urban Turbanista um it was twenty dollars um but i really like the material it's like a jersey material so what i usually do is kind of like fold it over like kind of like in half but not all the way in half if that makes sense i'm gonna show you so that it kind of looks like this well i usually do a little bit more than that so you want you don't want it touching the bottom basically you want it to be a little not a lot i mean you could but i just do it to make sure that i have enough um coverage with the scarf when i do this one when you're doing it at the top of your head so i'm just gonna leave it at like right about here all right so with this one you want to kind of take it and make sure that inside is like turning around so that that little layer that shows the scarf is covered. It's gonna be covered on your head. And you wanna even it out to the middle and then place it on your head from the back. And once you get here, you just want to take it and tie the thing. Tie it like so. And some, this style never comes out the exact same. I just wanna point that out, but I think that that gives it like character and a little style. So with this one, you can either do a rope method where you, where you twist it and then you just take it and wrap it around the scarf and then you fold it underneath the other part of the scarf and for the other side, you do the exact same thing and you go in the opposite direction. So you go fold, roll it. And then sometimes I try to come up with like cute little designs to do it in. How am I feeling, child? So you just wanna push that back a little bit and pull it up so you don't see that, um, that wrap, that uh, wig cap. So just like that. Let me see the back. I love this one too. This is a nice little style, I think. You know, I wear this one a lot as well. All right, all right. So what I said, you could do it like that. Or you could do the flat way and just make sure, again, 
that those insides are tucked in so it looks seamless. It's really what you're trying to get it to do. And you just wrap it around a lat like this. And then you would tuck right down the side. And then you would take this one. Oh, okay. And then you just want to do the same and wrap it around the lat. Like so. And then like I said, you could try to come up with a little design and do a something. Make sure you push that scarf back and pull that up just a little bit. And then you have it kind of look like this. So this one is cute too. I wear them both religiously. So, once you're done with that one, be done. So, you can take this out and I'm trying to fly away. All right. So, let's just say you don't have nothing to put up under there, but you could use anything, honestly. You use a t shirt, whatever. But as long as you got this scarf as the base, it's going to hold it. And that's why I like it because I've done it where I just put something on top of it without this um, wig cap. And it feel like it's just shaking around. But this really holds it nice, tight, and secure. We all know how a wig cap feels. So, you know. So, this one is going to be kind of like the first one. But without the little ponytail at the bottom. So, this is one of the other scarves that came in that yellow scarf set. And like I said, this was a $10 scarf set. You just type in scarves, like scarf sets on Amazon. And this is the look, it's material. It's not kind of like, it's kind of like the jersey material, but it's not as good. But it's it's a cheaper alternative. I like them, I wear them. And you can wear them as a real scarf or a scarf for your head, it doesn't matter. So, then, you just take it and sit this on your hair on the line. And like I said, you can pull it up because it's gonna slide back. That's just that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna turn around and you put it in the little hole again, and you pull it tightly, not too tight, so it don't hurt your head. And with this one, I just like to pull it back slightly like that. So with this one. Gonna make sure that inside is in and that it's seamless. And you're just gonna take it and wrap it like around the crown part. I don't know if this is the crown part, but this part of your head. And then tuck when you get to the other side. Taking a little bit too much. I'll put it back out. Okay. All right. And it should look like this left. And sometimes I like to, you know, if you being a little stylish or whatever, if you want to be stylish with it, you can leave this out. And it can just look like this. And it's like you just got a little cute little razzle dazzle. You could take this and you could, um, uh, Kind of like fold it in half so it's not as long and like just fold it into the scarf a little bit tuck it and it's just not as long and it just look like a little ponytail i guess but for the most part i just tuck it again fold those insides under so that it's seamless and then wrap around and it's like that I do this one quite a lot too. I think I do this one mostly when I go to work. Um, Cause of the population that I work with, it's just easier for me. And then you have a cute little scarf. I recommend this for a lot of guys. Cause you know, it's just cute, it's easy. Guys could do it. I think guys could do the ponytail one too, like honestly, so. Yep, so I just do it like this and you took your little 
See, those are the little frillies I was talking about. But sometimes you just can't escape it. But sometimes, you know, it's whatever. So you just took and move on about your day. So, yep. You see it kind of side. On this side. Like I said, that little frillies is sticking out. But here we go. Now they took front and back. Good to go. All right. And for the last one, I really could keep this one on, but since I got four scars, I'm gonna do four different ones. I'm gonna use all four of them. All right, so for this last one, this is from the Urban Turbanista again. This was a $20 scarf, it's jersey material. I like it, I recommend it. Got off Amazon. All right. So for this one, it's going to be kind of like the one we just did. And you just want to make sure your stuff is to the front and lay down like so. Go to the back. Do our little tie. Pull. All right, and then you just want to, I like to pull it this way. Ease up off your little edge just a little bit, just a little bit, you know, just a little bit. Just a little bit. And then you just going to twist, twist, twist. And then you're just going to wrap it like so. And then you're gonna tuck it into the back. I don't think I'll be showing y'all my tuck. So there you go. Then you're gonna take this one, twist, twist, twist. And then you're just gonna wrap it like so. Sometimes I be having a little difficulty, child, because I got a little elf ear, so I don't be want my ears to be looking too crazy like they stick all out. And then it's, I took it just like I took the other one. And that is it. You have a wrap. Like so. And then all done you can pick and choose tell me which one you like and if you try any of my styles please you could well I, if on instagram my instagram is linked below you could just at me or you know comment below and tell me how you like the styles um tell me anything all right that's it for today guys bye